How's everybody doing? T Man's here with Bob Santos, Boxing VIP. Um, we're a few nights out from fight night, Bob. Just wanted to get, give us a little bit of insight of, uh, as a trainer. What's it like going into this fight, being a few nights out? How do you prepare the fighter? Um, how do you prepare yourself? What's the mindset just three nights out from fight night? Well, I mean, obviously tonight we're going to make that final weight cut, get him ready for tonight. Um, you know, he's been preparing well. He's done everything that's been asked of. We're going against Danny Garcia. Um, you know, I know him real well because obviously we had Robert Guerrero who fought him for the world title. It was a very, very close fight. That being said, uh, Laura, he's a master craftsman. He's one of the best to ever do it. I think he's a full-blown full Hall of Famer, no two ways about it. So, you know, you got to think about uh, from that perspective. And Danny, I think he's close to the Hall of Fame, if not. So either one of these guys, for sure, they're going to stamp their... Uh, their uh, way to the Hall of Fame, no two ways about it. Uh, so I, I think they're both Hall of Famers anyway, but for sure the winner of this fight stamps his way to the Hall of Fame. Sure. Are there any specific advantages that you want to take, that, that you've been practicing or want to take advantage of during the fight? Of course, Lars got length. He's a master craftsman from the outside. Um, you know, he's in his 40s now, so, you know, he doesn't use his legs as much as he used to, but he can. People don't get that twisted. He can. Laura can punch. My only concern going into the fight, obviously, is we're at a catch weight. It's not at 160. It's 157. That's the only way the fight can get done. And so if we bounce back from that, I'm, I, I, I'm confident that Laura's going to come out victorious. Yeah, it sounds good. He's got the experience. He got the experience, and uh, he's one of the greats. Thank you, Bob. Good. Thank you.